This is Camera B and we're reviewing Carol. Yeah, Carol stars Kate Blanchett as Carol and Rooney Mara as Therese and is about their love story together set in 50s New York. What did you know about it going in? Virtually nothing. I did read the setting and the general plot of it. I knew that it was reviewed well. Yeah, so I knew what you told me, which was we're going to go and see Carol. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. So that's about all I knew. I'm glad that's all I knew. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So in terms of what I expected, really, I had no expectations. I vaguely knew Rooney Mara from other stuff, Kate Blanchett. I knew the name. That's about it. I knew both of them, so I knew that was going to be great. Mm. And I knew it had been reviewed well. I did know that it was the official selection for um, Cannes Fest uh, Film Festival. Oh, did we know about the Oscar nominations before? We knew about it that morning that we went. They got nominated for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. So I guess that gave us some expectations it was going to be good. So, okay, should we start there? Was it great? <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Watch it. I think after thinking about it, it would stand up to a repeated viewing. So were there any highlights? I liked that it had a lot of uh, masking of the characters sometimes and having the camera linger behind something and not having the character in full view. And I think they used that to highlight the sense of isolation and secret, uh, secretiveness of the characters. For, for me, I felt like, for a lot of the movie, I felt like an observer, watching what was going on. Then there were a few intimate moments in the movie where they dropped all of that away and you became part of what was going on. I liked that. I think, for example, there was a scene where a car drove up and we saw all of that through the window of another car. And you couldn't see very much at all. I liked that. I felt like I was watching something that was happening. I, didn't, I don't know if I'd say it was great cinematography, though, other than that. I think the shots were used cleverly to elicit emotion. Okay, yeah. And actually tell you something. Yeah, but I put more of that on the acting that was going on. But I was still looking for stuff that was like, wow. And there were a couple of points that were, but not every point. I don't think you should be like, whoa, at a film, because then that takes you out of it. A good, good cinematography, to me, is subtle enough to deliver its message, but not obvious to slap you in the face and say, look how good we are filming this. Yeah, okay, maybe that's right. It's a different thing to be looking for, I guess. It told the whole story. I guess the thing is that when you think about it, the cinematography did tell so much of that story and so much of the background of these two characters and the way they were perceived by society. So yeah. that is nice. Which I think is crucial because a lot of this film has no dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess sound is the next thing. It was, it was good. It was. It was good. It, was, it, didn't, it didn't take anything away from it. It was that same thing we just said about cinematography where it, it was subtle enough, but it added to it. They withheld the use of too much of it. They inserted it in the right places and the sound was, the music was low key. It wasn't a bunch of instruments mashed together as an orchestral thing. Mm. It, it was like one or two instruments at a time, really. Which was important for this movie because it wasn't a big shouty movie. Exactly. But, but sound, uh, the soundtrack was nice. Uh, it's one that I would like to watch again to be able to pay more particular attention to it. Um, because I think it was subtle enough that you could miss it in some bits, but it was still adding to it overall. Okay, so, there wasn't too much talking. Script overall, though, how do you feel? Very good. Loved it. it. It was a nice script. It was. It was... Everything that was said felt carefully crafted, I think. Which is good, because you have this, indica you have this feeling that Carol is someone who knows exactly what she wants to say. And you have this idea of Therese, who's not never entirely sure, so she never says exactly what she wants to say, and she picks the words very carefully. Each line felt needed. Yeah, it, it did. I, I couldn't think of a line that could be cut out without cutting out a little bit of actual Carol. And that's, it's so clever, the refinement to not constantly add stuff. There are so many movies where there's always someone talking for the sake of talking, but to have a quiet, still moment, that's, it takes a lot of effort. It, it's a clever thing to do. Okay, so we've covered cinematography, sound, Script, acting is the next best thing. Fantastic acting. You really believed in the chemistry between them. And particularly the scenes where they don't say anything. Yeah. And it's just a glance and it carries so much weight. Or just placing a hand on a table carries incredible weight in this film. I mean, the, the way that they changed throughout. Carol, she was sure of herself the whole way through and you could tell she knew what she wanted and you could get that from without her saying anything. And the way that Therese was sort of nervous at the beginning and changed and developed, it was, it was really impressive. And not just them, all the supporting people as well. They all seemed to play a part. 
We've rated acting before then, okay, so how would we rate the acting in this one? Phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. There were, there were no points in it where you felt they were acting. It was just natural for both of the characters and then the sporting people when they came in. So, okay, so plot-wise then, how did you think the plot was? Yeah, so I, I, most part I agree, but there were a couple of little things. So one of the plot points that actually really stood out to me is about, obviously spoilers now, about sort of three quarters of the way into the film or something, Carol leaves. She has to go back to deal with stuff that's going on. And that was so sudden, and it was such a contrast from the night before, you know, to just disappear. It's, I, I thought that really, really clever. So I think it was really clever? No. It was quite obvious it was coming. Yeah. That was the thing. But there were a couple of ways they could have gone about doing it. I think that was, it was the better choice because it, it, it highlights the isolation even from each other and it highlights the almost criminal nature of their relationship. Mm. Um, although that then set up the ending, which I don't know how I feel about the ending of this movie. So we've got two people now that aren't talking they're both dealing with their own stuff. Carol's obviously trying to sort out her things with a the child. There's an amount of time that's going to take. Then we have the ending, which is, we should add, how it started. The movie that yeah. was, I, I never know whether I like that, when a movie starts in the way that it ends. There's a few different things that have done that. It's a common thing in TV shows as well. But I think it worked so well in this one because we saw that whole development. And then when we got the ending, we already knew. Did that spoil it for you though, knowing that they were going to come together again in the restaurant? No, because you knew when you saw that film, uh, scene first off, you could already feel the connection between them. You could. They didn't have to say anything. Um, it was just glances, hand placements, you could feel it all. And it left you wondering. And then when you come back to it, you can piece it all together and you understand it fully. And it almost makes it even more convincing. And you, you already had the right idea when you first saw the scene. You already knew what was going on but now you knew the context and now you knew the real emotional weight behind it and I love that. If you'd have gone into the movie not knowing that it was a love story between these two characters, would you have known what was going on in that first scene still? Yeah. And that's a testament to the acting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I really think it is. So we go from that, they're in the restaurant, they're talking, and then they each go their separate ways for various reasons at that moment. I think they could have ended the film there. I was expecting that because that's such an obvious and cliché way to do it. It is, but at the same time, the whole way through this, we've had this relationship that it's so difficult to exist in this time. I feel like they could have just said, no, you know, this is it, we're going to stop here and what happens now is just up to you. Um, but they didn't, they carried on. And I kind of wonder if they did just the filmy thing of wanting to tie it all up in a neat bow. It would have been realistic. And I, I wanted that because I thought, I want this to be real because throughout the film, you, you, it feels real. Yeah, it does. And so you want it to end on a realistic note so you can believe it. But at the end, it almost turns into a fantasy. But after thinking about it, I quite like a, a fantastical ending to what is obviously a fantastical sequence. Therese seems very forgiving to just go back. Just bitter and twisted. <laughs> I, I have no issue really with it. A happy ending at the end, that's fine. Happy over the plot overall then? Yes, a very exciting film. Kept me interested throughout the film. I couldn't, I couldn't take my eyes off of the screen. Um, and that's, yeah, that's an interesting point. If, it, if a film does that, then it succeeded. And it did, there's yeah. no doubt about that. Um, overall impressions on it then? Uh, overall rating? Overall rating, I'm gonna give it, should have been nominated Best Picture at the Oscars. <laughs> It wasn't as big or as shouty as it maybe needed to be to be nominated for something like that. But it was better. But yeah, it was really good. I think my appreciation of it is growing as more as we talk about it. And I think it would definitely suit a second seat uh, screening. I would definitely pay to go and see it again. Yeah, and me I would, too. Yeah, I'd quite like to. I think that would be really interesting to, to do. Instantly loved it. So that says all that you need to say, really. So that's about it for this review of Carol and this episode of Camera B. Remember, you can go to h9blog.com slash camera B to find out more. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel as well, of course. And we'll see you again really soon with another episode of Camera B and another film to review. Bye-bye. See ya.